Hey guys, Wesson Sarasota here. It's uh, day 10, March 13th, 2020 in uh, Sarasota, hence the name as you know. But uh, I want to talk about some of the major topics in the news that's going on right now. It's almost impossible to keep up. Um, so let's just jump right into it. The first thing that really stands out to me is possibly 100,000 cases in Ohio. Now, I highly doubt this is because 100,000 people got infected overnight, but more likely because they are easing the restrictions on testing for the coronavirus. So basically before, if you hadn't been to China or one of these countries of, I forget which ones exactly are on the list, but it was like Italy, China, and a couple others, they weren't testing you. It's like, no, uh, we don't care that you're showing every other symptom. Since you weren't there, you're not getting tested. So go home, spread it around. So yeah, so most likely we're gonna see a huge jump in the number of confirmed cases of coronavirus in and around all the regions. But the good news is with that, it also means that the death rate is going to come down significantly because we now know that more and more people actually had it, transmitted it, and lived through it. Um, right now, I think the uh, yeah the world numbers are 139,500, just under 500 people infected. Again, that's if you know that's under the old testing requirements, um, with uh, about 5,120 deaths, which gives us a death rate remaining right around that 3.5, 3.6%. .6%. Good news is here in America, uh, there's 1,832 confirmed cases. Again. Ohio notwithstanding, with uh, 41 deaths, giving us a death rate of about 2.2%. So, yay America, hospitalizations, that's not the right way to say that. <laughs> our, uh, our hospital system is phenomenal and, you know, probably the best in the world. So, if anyone's able to withstand this, it'll be us. But remember that it is easy to overwhelm the hospitals. And that would be very, very bad, as we're seeing in Italy that's exactly what's happening is they're just becoming overwhelmed. Uh, other big news um, with people who have contracted the virus, uh, Justin Trudeau's wife, the Prime Minister's wife of Canada. Uh, so we'll see how their socialized health care handles that, if she's going to get you know bumped to the top of the list or if she's going to have to wait in line like everyone else. We'll see. Um, oh. Uh, I, what I think is big news and might be part of the tinfoil hat discussion later is uh, the Congo has now reported some of their first cases of, you know, the coronavirus. And as you all hopefully know, that is the center for the world's largest Ebola outbreak, one that we actually had to deal with just a few years ago. So hopefully eh, nothing weird happens there. Um, yeah, it looks like that's really about it. Uh, one other big news story I'm going to get into in its own little video just to keep these short and sweet. But yeah, um, guys, stay safe. Wash your hands. Um, <laughs> social distancing is, is the new key phrase right now. Stay away from people. Don't go into large areas. As we know, New York's got the, uh, what was it, I think a 50 person min or maximum in any social gathering so you know the best way to defeat this thing is to you know stay away from it stay away from other people don't let it get passed along because it's airborne it lives on surfaces for upwards of three days so you know someone touches an infected handrail starts touching other crap and there you go it's spread all over and it just continues to be a problem. So let's do the best that you can do to uh, you know, help with the problem, fix this. So that's your major news topics from what I can see. Hopefully you're not gonna be in one of the headlines anytime soon. Peace out for now.